Deputy Director General at Charizetic and Director of the Hospital's Emergency Preparedness and Response Program. He's a Lieutenant Colonel in the IDF Reserves, and he led the team on the great big plane that landed on the first full day in Port-au-Prince and set up a mass unit. Over, Dr. Merritt, a very good evening to you. I welcome you to the show. Reflect for the audience, please. How many people were with you and, and how you set the unit up on the first day? Hey, hi. Uh, so, yeah, we, we arrived there in a bigger unit of about 240 people. It was divided uh, exactly into two units. One was a medical unit that consisted of 121 people. And the other unit was a rescue team unit that their position was to try and find uh, and help the people uh, that were still under the rubble. Uh, so the medical team consisted of 121 people. Um, there were about half of them were from the reserve forces of the army. I, I'm person is, of course, in the reserve forces. And the other half were, were physicians and nurses that are, that are still uh, doing their uh, army service. It is amazing that within 36 hours you were already on the ground and uh, my daughter gave birth today, one of them, uh, and I, I kept thinking about the comparison between being in the hospital and you, you had an incubator, you had the facilities there. Could you tell us how many people did you operate on, how many lives did you impact? And secondly, could you discuss something you said in an interview that I remember it stuck with me that there are ethical decisions you have to make that you're not used to taking, that you can't have an emotional connection in a circumstance like that. Could you explain it? Yeah, well, uh, first of all, I'll just say the numbers. Uh, in total, in the first 10 days that we uh, were working there, we uh, treated a total of uh, 1,111 uh, patients that came into the hospital. Uh, of these uh, patients we operated, uh, 317 patients, so about uh, almost one third of the patients uh, went into surgery. We had uh, 16 births, so these are the numbers. And I, I really think that one of the most uh, strong uh, feelings were, you know, the, a lot, the, the big difference between uh, the medicine that we had to give there and in, 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 our, in, in our daily work, the uh, ethical issues that we had to face. Uh, we really started from, from the first day, we started from the decision in what we call the triage from the entrance, the way you have to decide which patient you can take care of, which patient you cannot take care of. You know, there were, there were of course, thousands of patients out, and I think one of the more important things was to try to locate these patients that you think that, that you can help. You know, usually when you're treating patients, you're treating first the more difficult patients here, you know, and we had the intensive care unit with four beds. We could easily fill this intensive care unit in the first hour and then we could not give any more service. So I think the more important thing was to try to locate these patients that are from one hand difficult, but from the other hand, uh, the patients that, that, that we can help in, in a short time. We, we could not uh, take patients which were too difficult that would maybe use all our uh, all our resources and still will will done in, in in a few days. How did the people respond? The Haitians respond to you and to seeing Israelis uh, there. Well, I must say that you know after a few days, probably the word was spread around that we were there and we are helping people. And in our cars, we we were going around. We had uh, flags and people were waving at us on the street. So yeah, it was, it was really a pleasure. The, the feeling once we left there on after the hospital when we were going around on the street and we were trying to locate other places that people did so we can help. They just seeing the flags, people were clapping and waving.